While its actual necessity in a video game industry that doesn't revolve around purchasing continues is definitely in question, modern titles still love to tease players with two heavy-hitting words. Game over. And some actually force you to die before telling you, Haha, hold on, that was meant to happen. No game over for you, it was all part of the plan. So let's take a look at them as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are eight video games that fooled you into thinking you'd lost. Oh, and also, side note, I'm not going to cover games like the Batman Arkham Asylum fake out with the Scarecrow or all the fake game over screens from the likes of Hitman and Borderlands. Instead, get ready for a bit of a deep dive. With number 8, File Crasher, Gunstar Superheroes. As we all know, there's nothing scarier than save data corruption, especially when it could mean tens of hours wasted just trying to get back to where you left off. Therefore, it was pretty bloody alarming when in the Japanese version of Gunstar Superheroes, a warning sign would appear stating that due to complications with the game that you're playing, you're going to need to complete the next stage in one go or your data would be deleted. And it was a rather official looking warning as well, even providing a shortcut key combo to reset the game and avoid putting your data at risk. If you were feeling plucky, however, you could choose to continue. Yet I warn you, this is basically opening up a Pandora's box of panic. Suddenly, the game shows you a falling tombstone-like obstacle with your game data etched onto it, and now you need to blast downwards into the stage in order to outrun it. Therefore, it's quite likely that some players died against this air quotes boss and lamented at how their data was now going to be lost to the ether. Except, it turns out that this was just a and that the game was merely just having a laugh at our expense. <laughs> Good one, mate. Re real funny. Expect a therapy bill in the post. Number 7. Don't Start Forest Fires Quest for Glory 3 Wages of War When playing any of the Sierra Entertainment Quest titles, you best be prepared to meet your maker countless times across your numerous journeys, because in these games, a humorous death is only one click away. You can get knocked out by a bear, slip and drown in a river, or even have a robot emerge from your trousers and kill you. Yeah, Space Quest was a weird game. However, nothing is so panic-inducing and so utterly hilarious as the smoke Smokey the Elephant Death in the Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. During the events of the game, the player leaves their campsite to head out into the savannah. However, as they leave, sometimes the game will randomly throw up a text box stating that as they didn't douse the fire before they left, they've gravely upset Smokey the Elephant and are then hit with a game over. Now, This is an obvious reference to Smokey the Bear, who lest we not forget is a big fan of making sure that we put out fires, or at the very least, never end up causing them. Thankfully, though, the game doesn't burn away all of our progress and reveals that this was just a joke. But the fact that it throws this up and only offers you the usual options of reset or load a previous save sure made for a truly jarring moment. Number 6. I Can't Die? Monkey Island 2 La Chuck's Revenge One of the greatest things about the phenomenal Monkey Island sequel La Chuck's Revenge, outside of its fantastic art design and brain-bending puzzles, is the fact that this is a title that doesn't take itself seriously at all. And it's this humour that carries the game through even its more frustrating puzzle elements. Case in point, in one scenario we find our hero Guybrush suspended over a pot of bubbling acid. Not exactly a great way to start your day, right? And the player has to act quickly in order to save the hero, and should they fail to do so, Guybrush will fall to his death. Oh, wait, no he doesn't, because if you're actually going to let this happen, the game pulls the rug out from under you by having Guybrush relate that he can't possibly have died here because he's the one telling us the events of this story. It's a brilliant way to fool the player into thinking that they've lost and then highlighting the silliness of the story that we're witnessing. God bless you, LucasArts. Number 5. Stupid Door Amnesia The Dark Descent In Amnesia The Dark Descent, you'll quickly learn that facing your fears is actually the worst thing that you can do. As in a game in which your defenses reach the extent of, well, wetting yourself and crying, meeting your nightmares in close quarters is never going to end well. As such, you'll be looking for escape routes each and every time the fleshy abominations of this horrifying title come shambling out towards you. And this is, of course, exactly what the game completely exploits mid way through the title. Normally, when you get grabbed by these ghoulies, you'll be hit with a game over and a swift boot back to a previous checkpoint. Yet, at one point in the game, you rush through a door only to be met with a group of monsters, and upon realizing that the door you just came through has now been locked, sees you overwhelmed quickly by the beasts. Immediately, you'll be retracing your steps, questioning if there was anything you could have done to avoid this, and just when you're about to get out the charts and sheets, you'll notice that instead of the usual game over screen that offers advice such as do one, mate. It now just reads sleep. And soon the game continues.
continues loading up a new section which sees you trying to escape a jail cell. It's a brilliant tease and creates a true moment of panic, unsettling the player even further as they venture on. Number 4. Raid Boss Rage – World of Warcraft When it comes to MMORPGs, death is quite possibly the most common and yet most annoying thing that can happen, and most definitely will happen to you over and over. From getting bested in a close PvP duel to being slain by roaming monsters out in the wastes, this is usually met with a sigh from the player and an acknowledgement that it's time to get back to the forest and kill some bloody boars in order to level up some more. Yet death is given an even greater sting when it comes to raid bosses as after all, these monolithic monsters can sometimes take hours to take down, and so getting party wiped is enough to erode a bit of your soul as well. And knowing how desperate players are to avoid such a scenario means that of course that's exactly what Blizzard made sure happened in a scripted event during the boss battle with Arthas. Here the Lich King will utterly obliterate your party once you've taken him down to around 10% health, something that first time players would have likely felt akin to a gut punch. It turns out, however, that this is meant to happen happen and that the party is meant to be air quotes killed in order to be resurrected for the final fight. Still, the sheer panic that would hit when this happened to you without warning was probably enough to make players have an utter meltdown. Number 3. No Way – Super Scribblenauts I absolutely adore the Scribblenauts series of games. The sheer level of creativity on offer within these titles is genuinely outstanding, and when mixed with those adorable graphics, well, it makes for a franchise that is both charming, creative, and in places, pretty bloody challenging. Stepping up from the original Scribblenauts, Super Scribblenauts knocked it out of the park by letting players use adjectives, which, as you might expect, exploded the number of options that players had to solve puzzles. Speaking of puzzles, these actually form the backbone of these games, with their completion rewarding the player with Starites, which allow you to then unlock more levels and challenges. However, you're not the only one after the Starites, as your doppelganger is also hungry for these and will routinely show up in his UFO to cause chaos. And come the close of the game, you'll finally get to shoot down this smug sprite swap, but in doing so, the game actually tells you that you've destroyed all of the Starite. Whoops, well, maybe we need to go back to the drawing board with this. Well, hang on, what's this? There's an option that lets you tell the game no, actually, I haven't destroyed the Starite, I'm actually winning? Weird. And just like that, you open up a new challenge allowing you to rewrite the events. If only real life had this option, eh? Number 2. This Game Over Is Far Too Silly Monty Python's Flying Circus The Computer Game Now don't feel too bad for not knowing that Monty Python's Flying Circus got its own video game, as this little known title was dropped in 1990 on the likes of the Amiga, Commodore 64, and ZX Spectrum. However, something each and every one of us would immediately recognize is that this game, of course, being a Monty Python title, is going to be very, very silly. While the gameplay between the versions varied slightly due to technical differences, the main thing thrust of this comical giant foot of a game was that you play as a man whose body is manipulated by different machines which in turn give him different abilities that help him shoot, jump, and run through utterly insane levels. With the sheer amount of wacky things going on at once, it's very easy to get overwhelmed and hit a game over screen, especially seeing as there are insta-kill sections that squash you if you go the wrong way. In many senses, it was hard to know when you're actually winning when the game kept on telling you how much you were losing. And making matters even worse, this game would sometimes throw up a game over screen for no reason whatsoever, before then unpausing and offering an apology and resuming gameplay. Like I said, this is a very silly, silly game. And number 1. Unstoppable High Fleet – Warhammer 40,000 – Dawn of War 2 if there's one thing that you need to know from the jump when diving into the world of Warhammer 40k, it's that hope is a goddamn rarity in these parts. From giant demons that wish to turn your body into a horrible meat suit, to the average life expectancy of an Imperial Guard member, which are the regular humans of this universe being a mere 15 hours once a battle begins, it's a truly grim dark experience. However, in the Dawn of War games, you take control of the Emperor's finest, the Space Marines, super soldiers designed to send the Heretic and the Xenos to the warp with bolter and fire and unquestionable faith. So surely being these guys makes things a little bit brighter, right? Well, yes, in some areas when you're absolutely dominating the force of chaos, but also very much no when it comes to the end of Dawn of War 2's epic campaign. Here, your strike force team has been given one task, fight your way off of this blasted planet. However, it soon becomes clear that the overwhelming hordes of Tyranids, which are an alien race that see all life as an all-they-can-eat buffet, will literally never end. Suddenly, the game's objective even changes, noting that all hope is lost and that you're going to die on this Emperor 
godforsaken rock. And when a video game itself tells you that you're boned, that's never a good sign. However, just at the last minute, reinforcements arrive and you just, just make it out alive. It is a thrill ride and a true example of victory being snatched from the jaws of defeat. And there we go, my friends. Those were eight video games that fooled you into thinking that you'd lost. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice over on YouTube, where I do all of my streaming outside of work as well as Warhammer 40k Battle Reports. So I'd love to see you over there. But before I go, I just want to say one thing. In life, we will unfortunately be dealt a bad hand from time to time, and we will unfortunately lose every once in a while. But I just want to remind you that that is completely okay. It is a part of life, not a fun one, but you will get over it and you will come back stronger. The thing to remember is, is that even when you feel like you're down and out, it is to never give up. Because defeat or failure, however you look at it, is an honest teacher. You can learn a lot about yourselves when you're not winning, and you can use that to gain some perspective, to better spend your energy in the right places, to speak about your problems, Problems with people who definitely care about you and want you to do well, and then try again when you're ready, learning from your mistakes. Now go out there and absolutely smash at your big ledge. As always, I've been Jules, you have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.